Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all a story time. Back when I was at University of Michigan and um, I was a graduate student instructor. I might have told this story before, but I forget if I ever posted it. But I'm going to retell it if I did because y'all... So as a GSI, you have a couple responsibilities. First of all, you have to actually teach your section. So I was an organic chemistry GSI. I actually had like a laboratory section that I taught every week. Then you also have to like grade papers and stuff. And then you have to proctor the exams and grade the exams for the lecture component of the class, right? Because the organic chemistry lecture, they only had a couple GSIs because there wasn't that many lecture sections, you know, because one lecture section has hella people in it, right? But there were more lab GSIs because there's only like 20 people per lab. So the lab GSIs, we had to proctor and grade the lecture exams, okay? So, y'all, <laughs> y'all, okay, okay, okay. So I come into the um exam room, you know, in GSIs, we had to be there maybe like half hour early or something. I don't know, right? So I come in there and I was the first person there. I was there earlier than all of the other GSIs, right? So, mind you... Okay, so when an exam occurs, they divide people up, okay? So they'll be like, okay, these three GSIs are going to proctor the exam in this room. These three GSIs are going to proctor the exam in that room. These three GSIs are going to proctor in whatever room, right? And out of the people in each room, so, you know, in my room, I believe there were four people, okay? So, it, you know, the number of GSIs depends on how big the room is, right? So um, out of the four people or however many per each room, one person is assigned to go to the chemistry office and pick up the exams, right? So one person has to go pick up the exams, then they meet everybody at the room. So that wasn't me, so I just went straight to the room, right? So say the exam started at 7, I got there super early at like 6.30 or something. I think the GSIs didn't really have to get there until like 6.45 unless they, unless they were the one picking up the exam, right? So this is the thing, like the week before or whatever, they send out the GSI assignments and tell everybody what room they assigned to. So you can look and see what room you assigned to and who you're going to be proctoring with, right? So in my room, there was three white people, me and an African person, okay? So it was um three white names, then my name, which is also a white name, Rachel Smith, come on, translate to slavery, and then an African person whose name was like Ubaba Ukaka or something, right? So... It's the day of the um exam, and I'm sitting in the front row of the room. And like I said, I got there first, right? So then the white people come in, and they walk up to the front, and they just talking to each other and completely ignore my existence. Okay, so maybe they assumed I was a student, but I'm like, y'all could at least ask me, like, who I was or whatever, you know? Like, that shit just came off kind of odd to me, right? So like I said, I got there before everybody and I'm just sitting in the very front row because at this point there's no exams or anything, you know, because like whoever was assigned to the exams wasn't there yet. There was nothing for me to really do. So I'm just sitting in the front row and then the white people come with the exams, like whatever, you know, one of them picked up the exams. And I guess they met each other on the way. I don't know. Right. So they walk into the front and, you know, they completely ignore my existence. Right. So I'm kind of annoyed because something I've noticed is that people never assume I'm anybody or anything because i'm black right like i'm gonna give y'all another example at the end of this story okay so a lot of people see me a black person they're like oh that can't be the gsi you know that's probably the janitor or some shit right so i'm already annoyed just because they ignored my existence didn't even bother to say hi or hey are you a gsi because why the fuck are you here so early or anything right so finally i go and i stand up with them and make it clear i'm a gsi right so I mentioned to y'all, I think I mentioned that my name is Rachel Smith, right? So when you read the sheet, it looked like there were four white people and an African person, right? So the white people, they're still just talking to each other. They still have not acknowledged my existence, even though I'm standing up there with them at this point. They're like, oh, yo, Skitley, like, I wonder where Rachel Smith is. I wonder who that is. I've never met her. And I was like, uh, I'm Rachel Smith. <laughs> so then they were like, oh, because clearly they thought I was Ubaba Ukaka or whatever the African person name was, right? So I'm irritated now because I'm like, white people really conveniently be forgetting that they like perpetuated the most heinous war crime ever. Because yes, I understand that I have a white person named, yes, Rachel Smith, when you read the sheet, it looks like all white people, I get that, right? But y'all should like kind of um know about the fact that you're the reason I have a white person's name. Like 
Did you forget that during Translate to Savior, y'all forced me to take the last name Smith and you're the reason why my name is something like Rachel instead of Ubaba? Like, what the fuck? So then the Africa girl finally came late as fuck. Like, I think we had already passed out the exams by the time she came. And I'm like, girl, why did they think I was you? Like, why did they think I was, uh, like, Ubaba Okaka or whatever? I'm like, bitch, I'm Rachel Smith. And she's like, oh my God. Like, like, and I'm not gonna hold y'all. Some Africans be kind of on code in person. Now, some of y'all are some, some white worshiping coon babies but some of y'all don't be that raggedy in person especially if you grew up in the united states around black americans it's so like what the hell because not only do white people conveniently forget about transatlantic slavery as a whole like uh you're the reason my last name is smith but they also forget about the fact that white people will literally throw a job application out if it has a stereotypically african-american sounding name so a lot of African-American parents will name their child something like Rachel instead of Shaniqua because they want their child to have a fighting chance when they apply for a job or something. It's like, all of this is your fault and y'all just conveniently forgot all of this happened? Like, what? The whole situation was irritating because all of that, like y'all forgot about transatlantic slavery and the fact that y'all will literally deny somebody a job for having a stereotypically African-American sounding name. But then also, you could have just asked me my fucking name. You could have just asked me my fucking name. They sat there and ignored me though. Like literally ignored my whole existence and then was like, oh yeah, where's Rachel Smith? Bitch, if you would have asked me my name or introduced yourself, you would have known I was Rachel Smith. That's why it irritated me so bad because... Okay, I get the assumption. I get the fact that you assume I'm Ubaba Okaka or whatever, okay? But you wouldn't have had to do that if you had acknowledged my fucking existence and asked me my name. And like, ugh, God. Then let me tell you the other example I was going to bring up about how people assume I'm not shit, right? So when you're a first-year GSI, you have to meet with, like, you know, a more experienced GSI, I think, like, twice a semester to go over your reviews. Now, my reviews were immaculate because I'm an awesome teacher, Right? But, um, like I said, this happens twice a semester, I think, like halfway through the semester and then at the end, right? So the dude that I had to meet with was an Asian man, right? So we set up a meeting in this area where like, it's kind of like a study area for graduate students, right? So we were not the only ones there. It's like tables and chairs and people would just go up there and study, right? So I got there before him and he gets there. Now, mind you, I didn't know who he was at first because we had never met. Same way he didn't know who I was, right? So he goes around this whole section asking everybody, are you Rachel Smith? Are you Rachel Smith? Like he asked all the white girls there. I don't think it was no Asian girls, right? But he goes around asking everybody, are you Rachel Smith? Are you Rachel Smith? So I'm waiting for him to get to me, you know, just waiting for him to, to come along in my direction. And he never does. Okay. So after he asks everybody else, he kind of just stands in the middle of the section, kind of looking like, what the hell? You know, like, where's Rachel Smith? Right? Because like I said, I got there before him. He might have been a little bit late. So he's probably like, I'm late and she's still not here, right? So then at that point, I'm like, uh, I'm Rachel Smith. So then he's like, oh, you're Rachel Smith? And I'm like, um, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not mad that he asked the white people, oh, are you Rachel Smith? That's not what I'm mad about, okay? That's logical. Rachel Smith is a white sounding name, okay? But it's the fact that he never bothered to ask me because apparently Rachel Smith on paper is too good to be a nigga. Let's just acknowledge that, right? It never crossed his mind that Rachel Smith, the chemistry GSI with the awesome reviews, may be the nigga sitting right here. No, this nigga just got to be the janitor, of course, right? Because let me get something out the way. I had remarkable reviews, probably some of the best. All of my reviews were like, oh my gosh, Rachel's the best GSI ever. Like, she makes it so easy to ask questions. She's the best GSI I've ever had. I want her next year, y'all yada 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 blah 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 right so it never crossed this man's mind that maybe the smart awesome just like remarkable rachel smith may just be this black girl sitting right here that was just unfathomable in his mind right it had to be a white person right i bet you if i had been an asian woman sitting there he would have asked me if i was rachel smith he would have asked me if i was rachel smith because it's you know it's possible for an asian to be the gsi with the awesome reviews but not a black person. Of course, a black person can't be shit, but the one who sweep the floors. You know what I'm saying? And that's not a slight to any janitor or anything like that. That's not my point. But it's irritating as fuck when people really believe that I can't be the person that I am. When people see my credentials on paper, it's like, oh, well, that can't be you, nigga. You got to just be the chicken fryer. You know, it's, it's irritating as fuck, right? Because, and this is my thing, this is my thing. When I told him, like, oh, I'm Rachel Smith, he was like, you Rachel Smith? Like, the nigga looked like he was in disbelief, bro. It's so fucking irritating. 